Hi everyone! So today, we are going to have another session of Talking Cock. I have my Teh Tarik with me, which is black tea, really thick black tea in condensed milk mix in it. So, uh, excuse me while I sip my Teh Tarik. <coughs> Alright, I guess that will do. I think this topic is quite relevant to people who have been in interracial relationships. First thing first, I think people back in Singapore, we know what this is about, right? Especially when women uh, get labeled as SPGs. What SPG means, it's a sarong party girl. So sarong is a traditional Malay wrap. Uh, I'll show you if I can find one. And basically, oops, the me around. Basically, you wrap yourself in it. Okay. So basically, the stereotype of Sarang Party Girl is that these local girls they just date Matsales or Angmos, or basically a man who is Caucasian, a white man, right? Uh, if you go around, just research Sarang Party Girls and why they want to only date white men. <laughs> Their reasons can vary. It could be they just want to have fun. Um, they think local boys are boring, not interesting enough, not rich enough, uh, doesn't give enough um, status, value, etc, etc, etc. They can go about maybe the size of their penis, for all I care. But a lot of these uh, SPGs, they are being stereotyped as loose women or yeah so basically they reject local boys and only think that white men are the best or at least white men uh, give them a better sense of satisfaction in whatever aspect that is <laughs> but of course there are people who genuinely fall in love uh, with someone else who are of different race culture religion country language <laughs> so that's what happened to me even though there are many people like me who are not spgs um who are in genuine relationships we get uh the fleck of it as well from the local community or where we come from uh i try to ignore all these um prejudices because I know my love is true, I know his love is true and we're gonna, we, we went through so much for the past six years just to be together to get where we are and even then being engaged, being married, having our own love nest, it is not um, the end of the road for us. Of course, it is um, not just ending with a happily ever after. We have a lot of work to do because we are a real couple who have real issues related to real relationships. You know, one of the instances that got me really angry um, was when he... Okay, was when... I don't know. I don't know if we were still in long distance relationship. Uh, at that time, but I remember we were visiting uh, Johor, it's a small southern tip state in Malaysia, so that's where Singaporeans run to have cheap shopping, cheap holidays, or just retreat for a bit from the busy, expensive Singapore. Um, basically, we just came out from the immigration uh, area towards the shopping center that is linked to the immigration center and in between the immigration center is a bridge, right? And that bridge is usually filled with taxi drivers advertising their taxis, you know? Hey, take a ride in my taxi. Where do you want to go, sir? Uh, boss, where do you want to go? I can take... And most of the time, I don't need taxis because we just uh, hang around in that shopping center area and sometimes we go a little bit beyond to eat the fish head curry at the Wonga Food. My husband and I, we walk past them and um, one of them say, boss, come, I, I, let me take you. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, my taxi is downstairs. And um, he said, we, we, we said like, no, no, thank you. We don't need it. He said something that really made me angry. You know what he said? No money, no honey. Like seriously, like 
those short phrase, um, those short words is really enough to make me boil inside. It's really translating into the fact that I'm only with my husband because of money. And that is very, very judgmental of that guy. Uncle, Pachi, you have no business in calling people that. You're really mean. Is this how you conduct business, Pachi? Customers turn away from you because they have no need for your services and then you just run your mouth and make us feel bad come on seriously no money no honey i mean it's not just saying uh, like oh i'm only with my husband because of money it's also saying my husband is a superficial man who just goes to asia and is a customer of the sex tourism industry in asia you know because sex tourism is still huge in southeast asia i mean is this the stereotype, you know? You come to Switzerland, you come to Europe, and you see an old, white, fat man with young, brown females who speak an inkling, not an inkling of English or not an inkling of, of German, for example. People are so quick to judge, like, oh, you're ugly, and then you have bought a wife from Asia. And that those usually, that's the story that goes. For me because of the fact that I'm in a relationship with a Caucasian man, I prefer to give the benefit of the doubt that, hey, this man found companionship in her, she found her love in this man. Okay, fine. I just usually give the benefit of the doubt, you know? But it, it's really annoying because um, there's no money, no honey shit. It, the attitude runs across the board, both from my side and his side, you know. I just uh... yeah, and and I've had had enough of it. Open your eyes and don't just don't let prejudices uh, limit your perspective of the world. Have a heart and use your brains. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so uh, I think it's it's a long chat now, and I will stop here and. Until then, I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>